Still reeling from the press conference. You know, I had so much fun watching that. But I just, I, I love the lesson that was learned there too, right? I mean, it, it's a big fight week. There, there, there's a fight going on tonight. Nog and uh, Sam Alvey are fighting. Bellator had a card yesterday. Huge fights between, you know, Joanna, uh, not champion, is going to take on uh, uh, the bullet. Yeah, big fight, big fight week, big information coming up. Nothing has come close to controlling the media and the stories and the headlines as the press conference. So, you know, we're starting to see how, how important and, and what a relevant piece of the business that is. And it's always been there. It just hasn't always been recognized. And uh, I'll tell you, you, so much is made of it. You know, people will, will say after they see Connor that, uh, oh, he's a master of mental warfare and things along these lines, which is fun. I can just tell you as an athlete, it isn't true. It, it's, not, it's fun to talk about. And for some reason, the average fan really relates to that. Maybe the average fan has been talked down before. Maybe they had somebody talk down to them and go, oh, I got, I, I got, I'm scared. But in this sport, I, I can assure you that uh, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. The rules are the same. The cage is the same size. The date is the same. Uh, and your skills and your opponent's skills are the same. You're, you're, you're not going to talk him down and, and, and make him back down like maybe you'd see on the playground. But I think you can have some fun with the topic, and it seems to be a narrative that doesn't go away. I've also found it very compelling that uh, one of the hottest marketing ideas, and I don't think it was intentional, I think this was an unintentional consequence, but who was going to be the main event of Madison Square Garden? It was one of the, the few cards, maybe the only, only one I can remember, that was ever announced with a co-main event as the highest fight that was announced. I can't remember a card in history, particularly at such a meaningful venue and a meaningful date and a meaningful pay-per-view time slot that didn't have the main event with the press conference, with the announcement of the date and the venue and the, and the on sale and, and all these different things without a main event. I can't remember this happening. But I think that it has, it, it's not something you can go back to this well very many times. I don't even think it was an intentional move. I think unintentionally, we've all had a lot of fun with it. We keep speculating, we keep talking about it. We've got some clues. We know when the fight's gonna be. So we know that the two fighters, the two participants have to have been notified. They gotta be in shape, because now you're talking about a main event. So you're talking about a five round fight. You don't do short notice five round fights. Very often, on purpose. So. We, we believe that the, the participants have been notified. We've got the John Jones information, though we're getting conflicting reports on that. We know that he is eligible. I'm sticking with that belief, but what I'm saying is, it sure has been fun to speculate, right? And whoever is doing it has got licensing process. I mean, you can only keep this secret a secret for so long. Eventually you're gonna have to come out with it, but why hurry? Let us keep talking about it. Let us keep arguing. Let guys like me come out and tell you it's going to be John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson. And then let other people come back and, well, you know, not so fast. And keep the talk going. I think that it's fun. I think if there's anything we've learned this week, it's that talk is good. Speculation is good. Let's just enjoy the ride.